viewers, this is BVI Channel 1. My name is Queen Madu and you're welcome to another segment of Reason with Queen. So, our amiable governor of Lagos State came on national TV and suggested, in fact, he proposed that Lagos government will be feeding at least 1,500 people from its local government in Lagos State to cook the sufferings of the people. You understand because the people are suffering people are hungry people are falling on the road people are big in fact things things are hard food is food, food food are very expensive now the third level will be that we are now going to do what we call you know the, the, the soup bowl the, the, the soup kitchen we did it also during covid we want to identify uh, mama put mama you know um um um, um, um that are in your do I want to be able to feed between a thousand and a thousand five hundred in every local government per day, you know, at the first instance for the next, you know, 30 to 60 days. So let's watch out the logistics. You know, we have identifying, you know, the, 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 the caterers already, you know, uh, funds will be sent to them and they will have vouchers. So that just people just walking, you know, and just give them something, you know, to eat, you know, one a day and let's just continue, you know, on that. The, the, the whole idea around this is that one of the verticals will reach will reach you in one form or the other so that's regarding food no i bought things today i bought um indomie that's uh, the what's it called the 120 gram for 400 naira i mean the one they they, 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 they were selling for 18 naira or 16 naira as, as a then i bought it for 400 naira today so he is proposing mama puts, you know, to you know patronize them, they will make food, call people, you know, at least 1,500 people, they will eat. And he was proud, he was saying it. You understand? But the problem with this thing is it is cringe worthy. It is cringe worthy. Food is not the main problem of the masses right now. This is what they call weaponized poverty. Yes. Weaponize poverty. You are weaponizing poverty, giving them fish instead of teaching them how to fish. Our industry is going down the drain. Companies are packing up and going. And your problem is to feed people. Is that what is going to how long are you going to sustain this, Mr. Governor? How long will this be sustainable? Food. Only something you will eat now and you are already thinking about the next meal. So, are you going to feed them once a day? Do you eat once a day? What is the content? How is this sustained? That's my point. We are talking about a long time solution. And you are bringing something that even a short time is short time is even wrong to use in this context because I don't even know how long this is going to work. Why not empower the youth? Why not create job? Why not create empl employment? Talk to uh, do something. Just create something. G create work. Oh, there are a lot of dirty gutters in Lagos. Call this youth to come and clean them up. Pay them. There are a lot of things that can generate money right now. Here, a lot. Even the uh, recycling. This uh, uh, this thing, uh, what's it called, safe? Pa uh, this thing they use in packaging food. Take away that they use in packaging food that you banned. Which is very, very commendable. Why not employ youth to recycle these things? Is going to employ a lot of people. Go to canals. These things are blocking the canals. Get them to recycle them. Get machines. It will create jobs instead of feed. What is feeding for heaven's sake? What is food? Okay, worry. Especially cooked food. Something you just eat now. As you are even eating it, you are thinking of the next meal you will eat. It's becoming disheartening. We are. You are just going back. Regressing. No, we're not going forward. We're not progressing at all, at all. I think we have even gone like five, 50 years backward. And it's shameful. It's really shameful. Please, you guys should do better. Food is not the problem of the masses. Let me tell you the simple truth. Let us have a sustainable economy. Let us have an, a, a good Naira. Let there be jobs and everything. And you see that food is, 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 is just a normal thing that anybody can afford. If it's so bad that your people are hungry and it's food you can offer them, then we are failed. Sorry to use that word, we. 
you guys have failed because and where appointment any I'm there's not any political appointment I'm, I have so it's you people that have failed and it's very very shameful very shameful so if you come across this video mr governor please do better food is not the problem of a common man thank you that is it today on reason with queen don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms don't forget to like share subscribe and also comment on this video because i love reading all your comments the good the bad and the ugly bring them on i love reading them and there is one particular comment i love in my last video the man said he usually skips my video but he was so happy he watched that video i want to tell that man if you see this one please keep watching my video it is reason between for a reason though. you will love it you will love it we'll reason together and we'll make sense together all right like come your way next time i remain your humble girl queen maddie stay well stay safe bye bye